Hello, we're here with Ann Robinson, the Informs president in 2013, and also the series editor of Informs Editors Cut, where all of these past president videos will be hosted. Ann, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing these past few years, where you're working, what you're working on, and your presidency year. Great, thank you. Um, so my name is Ann Robinson. I was the Informs president in 2013 after spending four years as VP of Marketing Communications and Outreach for Informs. Uh, right now I am the Chief Strategy Officer for Kinaxis, a supply chain software company, after many years in roles in supply chain analytics. So it's been quite a journey. Great. So in 2013 and in your Informs presidency year, can you tell us a little bit about what the dynamics were around operations research, management science, and the analytics explosion that was happening around then? Absolutely. It was a really interesting time, actually, you know, just coming off the tales of the competing on analytics book that was written by Tom Davenport and Jeannie Harris. And um, within the board, we had completed a study with Capgemini, which really characterized what was happening in the analytics space. We were on the cusp of a, of a revolution for our, for our discipline and for our domain. While we still struggle to have operations research really be understood at the proverbial cocktail party, it turned out that analytics was a term that resonated with a lot more people. Uh, industry analysts were uh, anticipating an explosion of demand and talent. It turns out they were right. And um, these books that really described informs like talent as the key to business success through the term analytics were drawing more and more people to our community. We saw academic programs and more, more and more practitioners embracing the notion of analytics and this descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive framework. So it was a really exciting and interesting time to be at a pivot point for Informs. You mentioned that analytics was on the rise during 2013. What was the impression of operations research versus analytics at that time? Um, it's really interesting. I think the way I, I recognized it and, and in conversation with my practitioner peers, operations research was really seen as a toolbox to solving complex prescriptive analytics problems, whereas analytics was seen more as a capability and it was becoming more important at C-suites in companies. Everyone was asking for or looking for analytics capabilities. Um, as far as definition goes, uh, we spent a lot of time at Informs that year or around that time coming up with what Informs definition of analytics would be. And you'll find that on the website today. But, you know, I'm very proud to say that it was a, me and a small committee that came up with the analytics defined as the scientific process of transforming data into insight for better decision making. And uh, I was uh, glad that we were able to land on a, dis on a definition that resonated with the Informs community. Right, and one that's still around today, and like you said, still on the website. Tell us what you are most proud of accomplishing during your tenure as president of Informs. I had a great year as president. So many things happened in the energy surrounding analytics and the Informs community really seeing that as a path forward. We had the first certification exam happen. I actually got to meet the people who took that first exam and shake their hands. We awarded the first cap um, pin to Jim Williams. Um, what else happened that year? We saw some of the continuing education take shape. We had the recently renamed spring conference to the business analytics and operations research conference and saw a, real, a doubling in the attendance. And so I think the biggest thing what I was most proud of was just the energy, the renewed sense of energy in the membership. I had people coming up to me at every event saying how excited they were and proud they were to be members of Informs. And that was absolutely my best moments is meeting members who took the effort to say that. And don't forget Analytics Magazine as well, right? Yeah, or, that was actually back in 2008. True. But my, you did have a hand in that. That was right? mine from 2000. Yeah, that was my first year as VP of marketing. Can you tell us where you think Informs and the profession in general are headed in the next 25 years and what one piece of advice you have to get us there? 
As we look forward to the next 25 years, I think our profession is as relevant as it's ever been. Mathematical decision-making is at the core of so much that we do today, whether it's public policy decisions, business decisions, or within the academic innovation area. I think as IT systems become more sophisticated and have become faster, that's challenged us to solve problems in different kinds of ways and afforded us the ability to solve even harder problems moving forward. I think the most important thing to remember and the thing to keep closest to our INFORM's heart is recognizing the importance of the ecosystem, that the practitioners and academics need to be in this together. As a practitioner, it's our responsibility to ensure we're bringing the most innovative, the most difficult, most relevant problems to our academic counterparts. And the academics need to understand the value in the partnerships with the practitioners so that they're creating the next generation of academic and practitioner that keeps our profession relevant and adding value, not just from a business sense, but really in adding value to the world. Well, thank you very much, Anne, for joining us today and taking time out of your very busy schedule filled with webinars and preparing for the panel for the annual meeting this year. And we hope that everyone enjoys this 25th anniversary volume of Editor's Cut. Thank you.